Uh, you mentioned Kenneth Branagh earlier. He told me he was on stage with an actor, I think Tom Hiddleston, and over Tom Hiddleston's shoulders, he can look into the wings and he sees the actress that's about to make an entrance and he sees her pass out. <laughs> Could you imagine? He tells a story in his autobiography about missing a... There's a very complicated business in, in Henry V, I think, with a, with a glove. And he's inspecting the dead on, of Agincourt. And then he finds a glove and talks to lots about this thing. But the glove wasn't there. So he had to keep inspecting the dead with no lines. And then somebody, he could see in the wings going. <laughs> and then someone produced a sort of motorcycle, like a motorbike gauntlet. <laughs> and that came on stage and he did this whole thing. With... I did a little bit in Cinderella, his film, and, and I did a play with him, a farce, directed by Sean Foley, who you I worked with. I saw it, You came to see yeah. Well, yeah. and you remember Alex McQueen w was in that, playing my love rival, the, the psychiatrist. That's doctor, right. Remember? Well, That's right. we had a thing where Alex got um, food poisoning. So uh, in this play, it's a one-act play, Ken and I would be on the stage the whole time. It didn't come off. We were about to go on one night, and the company manager came up to us and said, oh, just Alex is projectile vomiting in his dressing room. So if he can't get on stage, so-and-so will take his place. And Ken cool as a cucumber, did not, he just, he just went, unless he physically cannot stand up, he will be on the stage. <laughs> so, then, happened? so, then, so then we go through the play now, Alex doesn't come on for about half an hour, and we get to this line, you may remember it. And I, you know this is coming, yes, this yes. terrible dread. Yes. Yeah. I've got to run upstage, this upstage door, i got to go, I'll go and get a doctor. I was playing Welsh, and yes. I opened the door, it is Alex, and he's white as a sheet, and he's sweating. And we end up doing, we have to do this sort of fight. And then he ends up on top of me on the bed, like straddling me with his face there. And then we freeze and the action goes to the other side. So when it freezes, I whisper to him, are you all right? And he went, uh. and he <laughs> over my face, he started to go, <laughs> He managed to hold it together, and we, we do the curtain call, we go off, we say, well done, Alex, and he went, yeah, yeah. I remember you doing a thing for me once, and I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to persuade you to do it now, of the actor in the wings who is bitching about an offer they've had. <laughs> do you that's remember a, that? Yeah, that's, that actually is, that should be really attributed to Toby Jones. Okay, okay, okay. He sort of, Maybe we sort of invented it together, but it's the actor, yeah, it's the actor who misses their, because there's a tannoy running all the time, you know, in the theatre. And so you can hear the show on the relay. And so you get very good at hearing when your cue's coming. And also you get a call from the stage managers. And so, and so, but sometimes you forget and you're off and it's, the, it's just the worst thing in the world. So you're talking away saying, well, I'm not going to go down to Chichester for, you know, for that. And certainly not with Trevor. Uh, I'm not, I'm... Oh no, it's fine, I can hear. Uh, <laughs> and then you hear then, then you hear the actor going on stage and talking as they just sprinted from the dressing room <laughs> I've seen it happen